I'm Steve for This Week with Cars and today I'd like to get back at working on the Datsun 280Z that I got from Kevin over at Junkyard Digs. You can see that there are some cosmetic differences since the last time you saw this car. I've painted the hood, the cowl, these little doors here, put on a bunch of stickers. I think you can see where I'm going with this car. The next thing mechanically that needs addressed on this car is the fuel tank. I was having trouble with it in the previous video, so I think today let's get it out of there, see if it can be saved, and make a plan on what we can do. Last time I don't think I looked in the trunk here. Wow, it smells terrible in here. The space saver spare is still there. It looks like it's completely filled with a mouse nest. You can see even the original tire inflation bottle is there. Your spare air cleaner. Looks like the toolkit is there. Some really neat stuff in here. It just needs to be cleaned up. This I think is one of the original clips that would hold down the toolkit and various other items. At least the tire's not held in. A little scared to look underneath this. Nope, nothing jumps out. Oh man. It's another tool. Well, I know what I'm spending some time doing now. That looks a lot better. I don't think I got all of the mouse nest out of there, but it's a good start. Before I forget to do it, let's disconnect the fuel sending unit. Someone has already taken the bolts out of this for me. We just need to disconnect this connector right here. There we go. I don't have to worry about ripping that off when I drop the tank. First thing I want to do is try to drain the gas tank. Ah. I'm surprised the plug wasn't worse than that. Well, nothing came out. You see there's some black stuff on the plug there. So I wonder if that is completely plugged. Well, either it's already all drained out. I think I might have already drained the tank and I forgot about it. The line coming out of the tank is already disconnected because I was using the fuel bottle to run the car before. Now I need to take off the return line. That hose is really old and rotten. Let's try my special tool for removing hoses. Looks like this one's a bit too rotten, so I'm just gonna cut it. Now if I can get these straps unbolted, I should be able to drop the tank down far enough to unbolt the filler neck. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of penetrating oil on these to hopefully make it go a little better. I'm going to spray this down with some WD-40, see if I can get that cleaned up a little bit. There we go. Looks like that got pretty hot. Let's see what happens now. Now with the tank tilted, if we come in here, we can see the clamp on the filler hose. The clamp is too old and rusty, so I've reached in there with my metal saw and I'm going to cut the clamp off.
The saw did the trick and the gas tank has come loose from the filler neck. Now all I have left are these two hoses on the top of the tank next to the fuel sender. This clamp here. It's also very rusty, so I'm just gonna cut that one off as well. This other hose is loose. It's just at a really strange angle. There we go. And that is one removed fuel tank from a Datsun 280Z. I think I'll try to get the sender out of here so we can take a look inside and see how bad this gas tank is. Well, it looks like it's not going to turn, so I'm probably going to have to pry it out of there. go. You can see that is pretty rusty. It actually still moves though. The contacts that make it work actually look pretty clean. This might have actually still been working. Let's take a look inside the tank. Oh yeah, that looks pretty bad. I can see why it was clogged up and I wasn't getting any fuel out of it. I'll have to get this cleaned out and then see if it can be saved or not. To show you how the connections on the fuel tank work, I'm going to hook the fuel bottle back up. So I have it running through the floor, through the hole where the fuel sender access is. So it runs through that hole in the trunk floor and then down to the fuel filter, which then runs to the fuel pump. So fuel goes up this hose here to the fuel pump and up to the engine. Then fuel will travel back to the fuel tank through this pipe here. So I'm going to have to cut this old hose off so that I can put a long hose on that will go back up to the small fuel tank. This is why in my first video, you saw fuel draining out of my little drip tank and disappearing because it was actually coming back through the return hose and into the car's actual fuel tank. I've connected the return line to a loop of metal tube. That way I can stick it into the bottle there. When I turn the pump on, we should see the fuel recirculate to the engine and then back here to the tank. Okay, the pump's running now. We're starting to see some bubbles there. So the fuel is coming back and returning to the tank. Whatever fuel the engine is not using will get returned back to this tank. And that's how the fuel tank works on this car. And I believe they do it this way to have a very accurate fuel pressure at the injectors. The two hoses that you saw me disconnect from the top of the tank, those are only used for emission controls. That's gonna be it for today. For about $400, I can get a reconditioned fuel tank. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna find out what solution I come up with. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below.